Greetings, LGR here from my perspective. I am wearing my camera glasses that I normally do for LGR thrifts and yeah, today I am here in my main collection room, which I will admit at the moment is in a bit of disarray. <laughs> so my apologies for that. And also sorry if you're sensitive to shaky cam kind of footage like this, but this is more convenient for me and I'd rather not mess with image stabilization that makes it look even more sickly. But as I was organizing some things in here today, I thought why not put together a video really quick on a topic I wanted to talk about for a while. And that is big box PC games. And this is not one of them, at least in the term that I hear used most among collectors of PC games today, myself included. Although it's really not a term that existed until the early 2000s, around 2004 or so. The thing is, a lot of people online that are just like sellers on eBay are gonna sell these as big box games. They're not though. These are approximately the same size as a DVD case, but they're, you know, about twice the thickness and they come in a cardboard box. For a while they came in these cardboard ones. Uh, at one point they came in these like sort of you know, bigger, thicker clamshell ones. None of these are big boxes, but I see them listed as big box PC games all the time. This is a big box version of Far Cry. And it's a bit of an anomaly too, because this game came out in 2004. You would see this version everywhere. I mean, I got this one at a thrift store for like 50 cents back in 2010 or so. This one though, <laughs> it's weird because in 2004, these really weren't a thing. So around that time, pretty much every company, at least in the US, started releasing them in smaller boxes, PC games, because they didn't really need all that space anymore. In fact, they didn't need that space for a long time. Everything was just put right in here. So they made it around the same you know, width uh, just to fit like a jewel case, but there was no need for all this extra space. In fact, this box is mostly empty, so yeah, you've got like the same uh, like multi CD jewel case thing in there and that's it. Thing is, companies like Sam's Club and Walmart, at least here in the USA, they released them in larger boxes for a while. And I don't know why, I don't know what the reason was for that, but I think it's awesome as a collector. This is a 2004 release in a big box, which is pretty unusual. This is another one. This is actually kind of what prompted it recently because I saw Metal Jesus Rocks talking about this and this one actually does have uh, a gatefold opening on the front. This is another Sam's Club release though from 2003. And this is a game that came in the same smaller style box that Far Cry did, but for whatever reason, it also got this version in the big box. I've also heard that Canada just got this one normally. They got a large box version, which, I mean, it makes sense. 2003 was right on the verge of those things going extinct in this style of box. And uh, that's what that is. It's interesting though, because it went further. And here's my latest, or my later, uh, last example, I guess, of a big box release. This is Call of Duty 2. This game came out in 2005. Look at that, 2005. And I have no idea how or why this got a big box release because not even Call of Duty 1 got a big box release that I know of. I do know that Call of Duty 1 got the deluxe edition box set. This is not what I would call a big box though, I would call it a wide box because it's really the same width as a small box, but it's just taller and a little bit, you know, wider. Uh, it's a cool release. In fact, uh, Morrowind Game of the Year Edition got a release like this. So did The Sims Deluxe. So did uh, Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. A bunch of games got releases like this. Uh, SimCity 4 Deluxe. I really like to find anything that came in a larger box that normally came in a smaller box. Half-Life 2 is another one of those. This actually did get a few big box releases. And uh, again, this is a game from 2004, so it's one of the latest, last big box releases out there. One that I don't have big box yet. Wow, that term is becoming useless the longer this video goes on. Big box, big box, big box. Doom 3, that's one that I don't have in the big box, but I know that it was sold at Sam's Club and Walmart in one because I've seen it. <laughs> I remember seeing it and I thought it was odd at the time too because um, yeah, around that time that just wasn't a thing. Let me see here. Okay, for instance, I was looking at these just earlier. These Sims packs, um, after I think it was Hot Date, 
there were no more big box releases of Sims expansions and then no big box releases of like The Sims 2, Sims 3, etc. Because these started coming out right around that time. You can see this one is 2003. And that's when uh, the small boxes started to come into vogue. Still looks nice. But I mean, these are just smaller boxes making magic. Of course, then The Sims 2 came around. It was just in a regular uh, double thickness DVD case. Same with The Sims 2 expansions. They all pretty much got these. And then by the end of The Sims 2 life cycle, they were released in standard DVD cases. And uh, by that point, pretty much every game on PC has been in a DVD case ever since if it gets a physical release at all, unless you're something like Indie Box, which is another video topic. The thing is though, <laughs> so I'm, a lot, I'm a little bit obsessed with these at the moment, okay? So like for every, oh, almost every version of a, a Sims expansion, there is a big box variant that you would get again, Sam's Club and Walmart. They're the same company, by the way, or at least that's their own by like the Walton family. So that's why they both got them. Mostly Sam's Club is what I find as far as the stickers on these. But yeah, I mean, it's the same box, just bigger. In fact, much bigger than a lot of other ones, uh, taller, maybe not thicker, but definitely taller. Like, check it out. It's a, on average, these Sam's Club ones are about an inch and a half, you know, two or three centimeters taller than other big box releases from like the 90s and early 2000s. Uh, yeah. But yeah, check it out. The Sims 2 Nightlife. Just The Sims 2 in a big box. This one comes with a friggin' Prima Hint guide inside. That's awesome. Got uh, Making Magic right here. And we got Superstar, which this one doesn't have the shiny embossed uh, cover. Um, and it actually has a different sticker. This says limited collector's edition box with the bonus celebrities. This one just says bonus celebrities, but to me, this is the more limited edition collector's box. This one was everywhere. This one wasn't. And then of course, uh, this is the latest one that I've picked up, The Sims 2 University, which I, again, I had no idea this got a, a large release like this until I found it on eBay and these, our American releases. It's wild. That's just to me is wild. I, it's just something that I had no idea existed until just a couple of years ago when I started collecting these. Now, if you're in Australia, <laughs> there's a good chance that you're being like, well, what, what's the big deal? We, ate, we had big box releases up until like 2005. That is true. I have some Australian releases somewhere in here. Canada, uh, again, I think I've heard that some of them were up there as well, but um, Oh, and also some of the Asian territories. Uh, forgive me, I don't know exactly where this one came from. It was sent to me by a viewer. But yeah, this was normally in a smaller box release and uh, just here it is in a big box, which is sweet. Warcraft 3 is a neat game. You might also be thinking, well, what about collector's editions? Yes, I mean, those are pretty big boxes, but these are special. I mean, these, these are ridiculous. The collector's editions are still a thing you get today. So you still get large boxes for even the newest games. I don't really get modern collector's ones because I, th I think they're just big and bulky and like not, like, I mean, look, I just have them, you know, sunken in here, just sort of taking up space. I mean, they look friggin' amazing, but they're so big and awkward that uh, I don't really, I don't really like them. So say that you do want to collect these versions of games that got later releases, but the seller on eBay doesn't signify how big it is. And just for reference, I think this one is about 10 inches tall. Yeah, but there is a very easy way to tell, even if they don't show the measurements or say that it's a big box version. And like I said, sometimes they'll call this one big box and it's confusing. And if it didn't have this sticker, these would look almost identical, but really they're not. So here's a good, easy way to tell. Check out the, the graphics along the bottom. Even though they're identical, the ones here are relatively closer together compared to the rest of the artwork. And these are more spread out. Like you can see the, <laughs> the logo there for PC CD-ROM doesn't quite cover the bottom of the magazine there, whereas this one it does. And it's also more spread out between all the different logos. So if you see logos on the box, that's a good way to tell. 
Also, another thing is that typically the artwork is a little bit wider. And this one is kind of hard to tell here, but if you look here, see those two little flowers? There's only pretty much one on the edge of this one. So this is not a very good example, but yeah, some of the big box releases from the time, um, there was wider artwork. So it, it spread out and the, the aspect ratio is just different on the front of the box. So yeah, there's, there's signs. And of course, if you ever see, um, like the inside of it, sometimes the seller will have it and just display it out like here. Like if you see this and the box is wider than the CD case, then you know it's a big box. If it's about the same as the CD case, then you know it's a small box. But even then, photos can be deceiving, so check with the seller, you know, send a message. Uh, you know, I'm a collector, so that's the kind of stuff that I'm really interested in, is collecting things. And of course, showing these off in videos and uh, playing the games. But for me, sometimes the gameplay is secondary. I mean, I've played this game so much that it's just like I have it digitally. So when it comes to that and, you know, I already have the game another way, I want the box to go along with it. And so I want a nice, big, shiny one. You know, come to think of it, I think Iron Storm <laughs> might actually be one of those releases where it was in a smaller box normally. But this is a bigger one. Uh, yeah, this came out in 2002, so that would be right on that edge. But yeah, this one's from Costco. So I I'm wondering if Costco got their own larger form releases like this as well. Anyway, uh, let me know your experiences with big box PC games and whatnot, and your collecting thing. Or, you know, let me know if there's there's games that came out in, in that form factor that um, I'm always curious to collect them. And I like them, and obviously I don't have enough of them. Well, I have rambled on long enough at this point. So I'm going to call it right here. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll get back to Christmas videos soon enough.